sure if it gave me shivers or good vibrations but it was applauded on by mum Cheryl and sister Bianca they were looking up at Kimberly and Mark last week but have they done enough with that snake-like routine to wriggle back above them well Regan used to work in a reptile shop as you heard and he and Karina started by slivering into the floating cartwheel now you have to be in sync for the judges challenge it knocked them off their stride for a little bit but they finished with a slinky, slick, rotating knee slide. And he just lost a little bit of balance there as well, but recovered once again his poise and control to get back to his feet and finish the routine. It was a bit of a snake rattle and roll from Regan Gascoigne and Karina, but do their scores add up to a winner? Let's find out. Ashley. Nine. OT. Nine. Jane. 9.5. And Chris. 9. Well, it's still his highest score so far. It's 36.5 out of 40. I can almost feel the relief having your highest score there because you looked a little bit deflated when you came off the ice. I know you were hoping for a, a cleaner yeah. performance there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like Libby said, like, it, it's so unpredictable. I mean, it is really slippery. You, yeah. caught, you catch one foot, you go off, like, it throws you. Yeah. Like, you're, you're, do you know what I mean? So. And also because you're pushing yourself so much. It seems, you know, with the whole series, we haven't had any stumbles or falls tonight. We've had three. And it feels like this level of the competition, people are really pushing themselves. Yeah. I think this challenge has like pushed us all and like hits different elements. It's not just the crossovers, it's all yeah. the different little bits. So, yeah. Well, yeah. well done. High well score. Again, Amazing. it's all in the recovery. Yes. <laughs> Jane. Well, I just absolutely loved this routine. I just loved that you could do something about reptiles and you just kept that going. And it was so creative and different. And I loved that you. Yeah. The, the difficulty was all there, but, but you just made it seamless. And then, obviously, you had a couple of off-balance moments. Yeah. But I just absolutely loved it. Okay. So, Regan, let's talk about the stumbles. It is OK to stumble. It makes you human. <laughs> this is not yeah. what you do for a living. And it is beautiful that even you, at your high standard, do sometimes make mistakes. And I think it makes you really endearing. So well done for carrying on after that. <laughs> Yeah. I love watching you skate. You make it look so natural. Your, your spine, your central line, you move so swiftly on the ice. Well done. That was amazing. And I love this at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I agree, guys. Um, you're incredible, man. Honestly, your, skate, your skating is another level. Um, and I love all the stylistic choices from the sort of the lifts and the way you've included the like snaky moves in the step sequence all the way to like just the hand placement. It's all those details that bring something to life. Mm. So listen, get past the stumbles. Yeah. You're amazing. Well without, done. Without those stumbles, what could he have got? Well, that was going to be the skate of the series for me because I watched it in the rehearsals and it was perfect. But the stumbles, obviously, it's a competition. You make a stumble your marks go down, that's what it's about. It's delivering on the night. But what you did was magnificent anyway. What I really liked, you incorporated the concept of what you were doing into the step sequence. It didn't look like I'm doing a step sequence mm. now. It was part of the choreography and that was uh, seamless. And he's the got, skating's amazing. He's got quite wet eyes, but I don't know whether that might just be the contact lenses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so your vision's like a bit weird. But, yeah. Well done. Well done.